Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. Behind me here I do have the Creel House from Stranger Things Season 4. Now then, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build the entire house today. This is just the exterior unfortunately, but there will be multiple parts of this exterior and it's going to be really cool to hopefully get some Creel Houses in your guys' worlds too. Now I will mention before we get started that this video is going to be packed with some spoilers because as you probably know from the uh, Vecna tutorial, I can't keep my mouth shut, so there's going to be some spoilers <laughs> um, accidentally, you know, scattered throughout this video. So if you haven't seen Stranger Things Season 4, please go ahead and watch it before you watch this tutorial just here. Okay, um, be prepared, of course it is going to be tricky, so if you need to pause the video, remember it's always there for your use. If you want to comment any questions down below, remember that you can do that too. Um, let me give you the grand tour. So of course we have only the exterior like I said, but it is fully detailed with all the window sort of ledges, the chandeliers on the front porch, the really nice sort of porch steps, uh, another chandelier on this side, well, it's almost like a lamp that side, uh, some small trees, the driveway that we see in the uh, first episode we see the Creel house in, we sort of see the Creel family moving into the house and I built this from that sort of variation. So of course we have the upside down version of this house where it's kind of just scattered into a million pieces um, but I went ahead and built it as if it was new. So this is kind of the new version of the Creel house. Around the back here there's nothing much, this is the only downside to the tutorial, there is just nothing in the back here. Uh, if I get onto a, doing an interior, which I'd love to do eventually but it will take some time, I will, you know, make sure everything is accurate as possible and add in some more windows on the back there. The roof is going to be the hardest part to build because of course we have these turrets to build, but um, it does look so cool and if we look down from the front, you know, that sort of main pillar in the centre, just sitting above the rooftop there, just, ah, oh, it looks awesome. Very, very like gothic and Victorian structure which is so, so cool. Around the side here as well we have this sort of like lean-to outhouse type thing. Um, that was on the real house, so we only really saw the front of the house in the show, but um, I went ahead on Google Earth and I was just kind of sat on a road over here, looking creepy I guess, <laughs> but I saw through a hedge that this is what the side of the house looked like, so I went ahead and tried to represent it as best I could in Minecraft. But yeah guys, that's enough of me talking, let's get some materials and get started with the Creel House from Stranger Things Season 4. Okay then, so I've had to venture off this way a little bit because the other side is my Hawkins Square, which is <laughs> going to be a little bit in the way if we build a bit more that way. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves these materials. Blue terracotta, some jungle wood planks, some brick block, some smooth quartz slab, some smooth quartz stairs. I'm Oh, some dirt path. I was going to say I don't know why I've got grass, but nope, that's dirt path. Some quartz bricks, some dorite walls, and finally some spruce wood planks as well. The other thing to remember guys before we begin are uh, these smooth quartz slabs are going to be used to build blocks as well. Now the reason we don't grab the block is of course to save some hotbar space. We're going to firstly start with our dirt path and I'm going to try and go as in line with my original as possible, it's going to be a bit awkward. I'm going to build myself one, two, three, four, five blocks of dirt path in my grass just like so. Then I want to build three forward and I want to build two lots of three behind it, so six blocks in total. So it's like a big arrow like this, or a flower pot from Mario, that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take ourselves some uh, quartz bricks now, placing one here and here. We'll then place ourselves a stair behind both of these, and then we'll take our blue terracotta and build like an L shape, just going up on both sides. Remember guys, if I go too quick, you can always feel free to pause or rewind the video. Now we'll take our stairs again, and we'll build again, up for just a block on both sides. And then we'll stick a slab on the top of these ones. We'll then build our blue terracotta up for two on both ends. And then we're going to stick ourselves a block built with slabs on both sides. My lisp doesn't like slabs. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take some blue terracotta, the three in here. And then we'll take our quart stairs just here, and here as well. So now we have the grand staircase out the front of the Creole house. Dorite walls go on these two quartz bricks and then we're going to stick them on here to mark out the porch sort of infrastructure just here as well. We're next going to start by building just along to the left side with our blue terracotta. We'll go next to the pillar and next to the blue before it. 
building two and two just here. Then forward from this two, we want to build one two and one two, just like this, so we're in line with the first lot of stairs. We'll then build a block here and here with our quartz uh, slabs. And then we'll stick door right on both of these, just so we know, again, that's where the porch is going to sort of begin. We're then going to go ahead and count from this one that we built on the corner, kind of the forward corner just here. We want to go ahead and take our blue terracotta again, and this is going to be number one. So we'll go along for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And then we want to go ahead and build this up to a second layer. Now, before we carry on, we're going to revert going backwards with our brick block underneath this one just here. So now we have that second layer. You can actually knock out every single block that's going to be exposed apart from this for, uh, forward one underneath these ones for the actual foundations of the Creole house. And you can also do the same when we get around this way. So for now, just change up these two. Perfect. Bear in mind, some of these areas are going to be filled in with bushes, so you're not going to see kind of the entire uh, lots of the uh, brick there, but that's fine. If you now want to go ahead and take yourself your slabs again, We'll build a block on this end, and then a block away, place another one. Sorry, two blocks away, place another one. And then we'll go ahead and build these upwards with some dorette wall just for one on each one, just for now. We'll next go around the corner, and starting with this one being number one now, we'll go ahead and build with our brick block for five in total after this one, so we have six with this one included. So two, three, four, five, six. Adding on five, plus that one, six on this corner. Blue terracotta on top of these is again, uh, a slab block on the end, a block back in, place another one just here. Then take door right wall for those two like so. Now there's not really much we can do on this side apart from build the sort of starting uh, kind of tower pillar thing just here. Then of course we go back in for the actual main house to build that sort of um, outbuilding or something like that that's just there. So we want to go ahead and take ourselves 13 more brick blocks after this one. So we actually are going to start just on this next one. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now if you want to double check your work, I recommend doing so. So feel free to pause and go and check things. But I'm going to say that's that's okay. I'm going to quickly check mine too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Perfect. And then we'll start to build ourselves a pillar with two blocks made from slabs here and on this side as well. Perfect. Now I know that's going to be where that pillar thing, big tower, is going to be just there. Now back around to the other side. So we want to continue the porch on this way. Once again, we'll start with our brick block instead of going for two layers of blue. We want to go ahead and build ourselves 16 blocks along from this one just here that we're about to start on. So it's going to be the one just after the pillar. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then your blue terracotta. Then a space away from this pillar. Build another one exactly the same. And then right down the end, we're going to build one just here. And then leave one block gap instead of two, like we did on that side. And build another one just here and here. If I quickly run across and show you, it's very interesting this one. Because you leave that two block gap just here. However, on this side, we only leave the one. Now, it's strange because we only do one here, and then we also do two on this side. But it's because we're compensating for the windows. Because we have this massive arched window here, we obviously don't have it on the right side. And so we need to uh, compensate it Sorry, with those beams. So that's what we're kind of going for there. It's a little bit of like architectural designing, which uh, obviously is not very useful in Minecraft because we don't have gravity but uh, it still makes it look as realistic as possible. We'll then go to this side and we want to build upwards again so we can get the square shape of the house, or kind of square. So we'll start this one as number one and we want to build it to six blocks again. So we'll add in five. So we'll go two, three, four, five, six. Blue terracotta, a pillar on the end here, one block back in, another pillar. Door right wall on both of those, and there we go. Now then we'll follow this around so we can get the sort of tower that goes here and then from the tower around again. We want to build ourselves three blocks made up with our slabs just here and then we're going to start our tower. We'll use brick block for the foundation and then of course the blue terracotta for the next layer. 
we'll go for four lots of one, one, two, three, four, in a diagonal shape like so. That goes out to the right of the building, just here. We then want to go ahead and build ourselves six upwards with our brick here. One, two, three, four, five, six. When I say upwards, by the way, I mean just, you know, directly along the same path and not vertically. We want to go ahead and take ourselves blue terracotta on these four. And then on the first lot of six brick, you can build yourself a slab block just here. And then one down this end as well. So you're going to be left with four blocks of blue in the center. Now we'll go around the back of this one and we'll sort of finish up the turret just over here by building some brick blocks in for four again backwards into the structure of the building. So like so. Each one diagonally. And you can stick yourself blue terracotta on those brick blocks. We then want to build ourselves 20 blocks going back from this one. So we'll place one here and that'll be number one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Back on this end, we'll stick ourselves a, a block, just move our slabs, and then we'll do the same on this end as well. The rest can be filled in with your blue terracotta. And before we continue, I want to clarify that was a motorbike, not me. <laughs> okay, let's go around the back now, and this is the longest section of the tutorial just for, you know, grinding. It really does take a, a while to get this done. This is going to be 36 blocks, starting with this one as number one. So remember that's number one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. As you can see, we're a little bit off from that other one. But remember, the building itself goes back in, as you can see there, for those three windows, and it connects to the back there. So we're all good. If you want to run back though and check, this wall now is 36 blocks long in length. I recommend doing so. Oh, and obviously build yourself a slab block on this end. And then blue terracotta in amongst this one. But yeah, go and check if it. it's 36 blocks long and then we'll continue the tutorial. Okay, so I've just checked mine and luckily we're good to go. <laughs> Let's take our spruce wood planks next and we'll go next to this 36 one. And we'll go along for just six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's gonna be like our new foundation. Now then this one, if you're looking at it and thinking, oh no, it doesn't line up. Don't worry, that is a great thing. We only need it one block past this area because we're gonna stop it just on this one. So that is perfect. We're gonna next take ourselves another slab block just here. And then we'll fill this in for the, uh, I think that's five blocks, yep, of your blue terracotta. Now then around the corner here, we're going to continue with our spruce wood planks and we're going to start with this one as number one and we want to go along for ten to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then what we're going to do is we're going to build four onwards from it. One, two, three, four. Build the four forward and then we'll grab some slabs later for a step just here. For now though you can take a slab block here and here and leave a gap of two. And then you can go back with your blue terracotta for those blocks in there to fill that in. Now this is kind of like an outhouse sort of overhanging, sorry, lean-to sort of shed thing. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I'm not really a very like technical person when it comes to like house uh, design. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a cool kind of thing on the side of the, the building. So we need to definitely incorporate this. We're next going to take ourselves these spruce wood planks. And we're going to go along from this one for nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. One block gap just here. Now this one is going to be filled in with a pillar of quartz. So for now we just mark it out with one block of quartz. Going along here, add in yourself your blue terracotta and then build your pillar up again just to be in line with it. That is so good guys. We have the foundations of the Creole house now. Look at that. That is actually a lot smaller than it looks over there, but <laughs> that is perfect. Brilliant. Oh, here, just fill these in, by the way, with your blue terracotta. Okay, then, I think the next thing to do is going to be filling up that porch with our jungle wood planks. Let's get some new dimensions. All right, then, so to build it in our porch, we take our jungle wood planks. We're going to go in line with the pillar, so the door right just there, and in line with our blue terracotta. And we're just going to build these five blocks along until we get closer to the stairs. So we're going to actually build until we're here. So we have these three just here. 
then we'll fill these in. Fill this entire space in. Of course you can do the two layers if you want to, but I'm a bit lazy and I'm just going to fill in this one. So like so. So up to this left pillar of the main staircase like so. Now then what's really important about the staircase is we use this to our advantage when it comes to actually planning and building the rest of the door frame and everything. So we use that one just there, that's fine. But then from this one, we're going to go upwards. So we're actually on four, I believe so. So four just here. Uh, the one next to it is also going to be worth four. Over on this side, you can build this one to four because it's in line with that pillar. And this one as well to four. Now the ones in the direct center for these three blocks are going to be a bit different. So we'll have five here, five here, and the next one six in the center, like so. And you can really see where the door is going to be now. Now back along this way, of course, it's going to be a bit different from the rest of the thing, but pretty much just normal after this one. So you just build it upwards to uh, the other pillar. So just over here, build this right the way along. Of course, some of it is going to be a bit different, but we'll build it there just so it stops kind of diagonally away from the door area like this. Now the main house structure is a little bit different on both sides. Of course, like I mentioned before about the windows, that's not the only difference. If I quickly run over here and show you, we have ourselves this one, which is really, really prominent and out the front. And as you can see, it goes back in a the block, then it goes back in a block again. So these two windows over here are actually really pushed back from the door frame. And that is what we try and represent with the porch just here. But for now, that is not going to be a problem because we've actually just marked it out there. It's going to be very, very useful to uh, help us out later. Right, I'm going to go and condense my uh, hotbar down and then we'll get some new materials and get some bits done with the main walls just here. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and checked my dimensions. I've also grabbed an entire new hotbar of materials, well, most materials. So we're going to take ourselves some blue terracotta again, some smooth quartz block, some smooth quartz stairs, some light gray stained glass, some dorite wall, some stripped spruce board, wood even, <laughs> a mangrove door, which is one of the new materials, white stained glass panes, and some smooth quartz slabs as well. Okay, then we're going to start on the left side where the bigger windows are over here. Now we're actually going to go to the block, just this one that we made a little bit taller. Now, now we have the actual blocks too, this is going to be a lot more easier for us. We're going to go ahead and first start with our blue terracotta. Then we'll go for some quartz and then blue again. Then we'll build ourselves a stair just here. Then we want to go ahead and do again the same sort of thing. So we'll go for quartz, blue, quartz, blue, an upside down stair just here, a normal stair, blue, quartz, blue, quartz, blue, quartz, blue, quartz. Then we'll do an upside down stair again. So you now have like two lots of these upside down and normal stairs. And then we'll do a normal stair up here with a block on top then an upside down block, sorry, stair out from the block like so. Now we'll go ahead and build these up to the same layer, just like so. It looks like a very like beautiful and cozy looking house now, doesn't it? But we all know the dark truth. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put ourselves two more blocks of quartz just here. And then we want to build ourselves a stair just here. And then we'll build the wall pattern along this way in a second. For now though, we're going to do ourselves three more blocks another stair, two more blocks, and another stair up here. So now we have all three window sort of ledges marked out. Let's build the blue up this side up to the same height as the other side, just like so, which is about six blocks, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Then we'll use our quartz next to it. And then we'll do our blue again, just besides that one. And then quartz again, just here. Now this quartz is a bit different to the others because that is the one for the start of the door. So we'll need to use that one later on. But now let's backtrack again in here. On each of the windows, we're gonna use ourselves these light gray stained glass blocks. And we're gonna build these upwards to the block of the stair sort of shape here. Upwards to again about, oh, that's about five. One, two, three, four, five. So on every single quartz block on the floor, you want to build a glass on top of it for five blocks in height, like this. Then we'll take ourselves our stairs and we'll do the pattern as we did the first one, like this. Remember to end it on a block, and we're going to end it on a block on every single one of these. And then we'll do the same pattern in these ones, and then the same up here. 
Right, and the rest of these are going to have upside down stairs on the top, on the front of those blocks, just like so. But the second one, so this one in the middle, is going to have a bit of a different design at the top here. We're going to use three blocks up here, two blocks and two blocks above each window. The middle one, we're going to stick ourselves a step here and here. In the center, we'll stick an upside down step like so. Now that is a bit different from the others because the other ones are going to have kind of steps going back to back. But of course, because we have three stairs here, you could do back to back with that one in the middle, which uh, I think doesn't look too bad. But um, I also kind of like it with this one around like so. It looks a bit more ominous from the front and it looks a bit more dark and uh, kind of Victorian too, which is cool. So then just make sure you get the other back to back stairs in that other window. And there you go. The sun can shine through and look really cool. Good stuff. The next thing to do is to take your blue and we're going to sort of surround these, kind of coat them in blue. Just like this, kind of like an arch over the top of it. Like, to, like so. Then we'll take our uh, quartz and we're going to do the same. Just like a big arch going around it. Making sure the corners are connected like this, not just diagonal. Make sure they're connected like that. And then the blue over here can fill in that little gap. Same on this side. Just like so. Perfect. Now then, one thing I will say, guys, is the front of this house is a lot trickier than basically the rest of it. Because, of course, we have the porch, and the porch just adds a whole bunch of different uh, dimensions that we need to, like, counter for. And um, it does definitely get confusing quickly. So uh, just bear in mind that the rest of it hopefully will be quite easy. Let's take some smooth quartz block and build this one up for three, just so it's in line with that one now. Now back across this way, where we have the front door, this one is going to be a little bit shorter than the couple blocks that we have here. Now we're going to use a slab for the top of it, of course, but we're actually going to build another block there, and then we're going to stop before we reach this layer. We'll take a slab and we'll place one just here, and then we need to stick a stair just from it, but of course we can't really do that on its own at the moment, so we're going to stick a block temporarily, a block temporarily, knock it out, stair just there. Now we can knock out that block. On where the block was, you can stick an upside down stair kind of against that one. And then we can actually go behind this in the space here that we've left with the jungle and build blue terracotta upwards to sort of make sure that space is all filled in. So from the front side, it should look like this. This one too. Of course, it's going to need to be filled up one more so we have that little space filled in. Then I'm going to backtrack downwards. So I'm going to go just two blocks down. And on the third one, I'm going to knock this one out. I'm going to stick a normal stair in the wall like so. And then one out from the wall just here. I'm going to go behind this one and build this one downwards with my quartz. Down to the bottom. Just like so. So down to where the uh, jungle is. Then I'll stick an upside down stair on this one. And I'll build some Doric wall in for three like so. Whilst we're going to... Uh, sort of finish up the other side of the door in a second if you want to take your door right wall for all of these Surrounding porch pillars apart from those two at the bottom You can actually build all of these up to seven blocks in height. So I recommend doing that in a second Let's get one done together. So two three four five six seven So if you get this done, then we'll work on the next side of the door Well then assassins that looks really awesome. So well done that is starting to take a lot of shape and it kind of looks like a construction site now this makes it a bit more official. <laughs> Let's take some stripped spruce wood and going behind our quartz now, same with what we did with uh, the blue just here. We're gonna go back from the quartz and build this one upwards to go just there next to that step. On this step here, you can build yourself an upside down step to the right side of it. Then we'll do a stair going inwards from it, upwards. An upside down stair will go this side, a normal stair that side, then an upside down stair going to the right on this side. And then we basically do the opposite, so a normal stair, a block, and this block goes all the way down to the porch floor, or the actual floor. And then a normal stair, three door right walls, an upside down stair here, and there we have the arch for the doorway. We're now going to take our spruce just here and fill this side in. Remember to surround that area. And then in here, we'll go ahead and build one, two, three at the top. And then we're going to build down from the top just for one, adding our glass pane just like so. And then we're adding two blocks above the doorway. And then we can put, place our door in going backwards towards the house just like so. And if you look at the front side, 
that looks really really shifty and awesome creepy too now I'll take blue terracotta and surround the doorway going over those stairs here down for two and then down again this side next to the quartz downwards to the floor awesome now we want to go ahead and kind of surround it again by using our bigger sort of archway so on this one up here you want to take yourself another slab like so now these are a bit awkward I know because of course we have to sort of add in the different materials for this one instead of just using like constant steps and whatnot so we're adding ourselves a block just like so and then we'll add in another one up here like so we'll do the same here a block a slab and then we want to stick ourselves a stair underneath that slab like so then a normal stair and then a slab from the stair like so very very awkward and can get very annoying quickly but don't worry just hang in there it'll be all good now we're going to build ourselves another pillar just here with our quartz and there you go you kind of have surrounding the door like so fill in that block there and then you can actually fill in this area if you want to as well but um it's up to you guys i'm going to leave mine just uh no i'm actually not i'm going to go down to the bottom and i will fill it up to the same height as this one just so we're on the same page like this and even over here too like that oops awesome looking good okay the next thing to do is to go back along this way going backwards again for another block so here build this one right the way up to your new height just this one and then we're going to go again with our quartz so we'll go again upwards so in line with the porch then we'll go up for about five blocks in total one two three four five and i'm going to go up a sixth one just here just so i have enough space there brilliant for the windows here we'll go two blocks along this way a third one over here and build this one straight up so the window itself is actually four blocks in width we're building ourselves uh four blocks of glass and then four again then we're building these two knocking out the corners we'll stick upside down stairs on these blocks stairs here out from the upside down stairs down from the upside down stairs sorry down from the normal stairs upside down stairs and then at the top here we'll do two slabs above the upside down stairs that way we can fill over the entire window with our blue terracotta now we'll do three lots of this blue terracotta and then we can build our other window in a second now these windows are my favorite because they're really simple to build and uh, we're going to be using a lot of these as well so once you learn the sort of build technique then it's super super simple to build these so we're next going to do another one we'll go for four quartz like so so we're a block away from this one up for one oh sorry one two three four five up down stair on here two three four five up and i'll stair here then i want to do myself a stair on this one and a stair on this one with the backs facing towards one another up and stairs between them slabs on top and then i'm going to fill in the glass in here for four and four again then i'll do my two blocks and i'll do my blue terracotta surrounding this and even down this right side over here like so if you now want to build this pillar from the ground upwards to that same height feel free to do that brilliant look at this guys that is looking so good super super accurate now brilliant stuff so now then we're going to attempt to get one of the most confusing parts of the tutorial out of the way now we're going to go ahead and build the trim of the porch sort of roof there so we're going to need to take ourselves some quartz stairs smooth quartz stairs smooth quartz blocks and some smooth quartz slabs we're going to go ahead and start with this pillar on the right side so over here so above the door right so just on this one place yourself a step and we'll alternate it between the slabs so slab upside down slab step slab step and then as you get to this side it's going to be of course a slab as well and then it's going to be a step around the corner and then we're going to kind of go very slowly around here until we reach the middle where it's going to get a bit confusing so let's go again slab upside down step of course this will look better when it has blocks behind it but if we get this done in like a 2d sort of format so far it'll be much easier to understand later 
So if we get it up to there for now, that is all good. So yep, and then we'll do ourselves a slab, and then this is where the fun begins. The fun, I mean the hardness. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and stick an upside down step there as normal, but this was going to curve around like so. So you have it going around the corner like so. Then once you reach this archway, we're going to have to build up ourselves with a slab a slayer? A slayer? A stair on this one even, and a stair on this one. Then we're going to do upside down stairs for these two. Then we're going to do normal stairs again. So we have like two lots of normal stairs. An upside down stair in the middle. Normal stairs going back down this side. Upside down stairs. Normal stairs. And then we're back to where we started. So upside down stairs, but kind of around the corner like so. So kind of going around like that. Then we'll do a slab next to this one. Then we'll do a slab again. Then we'll do an upside down stair. Uh, I think, I just want to check this. Oh my bad. I almost started that wrong. We're going to go here instead. So above the uh, door right and we'll do two slabs like so. Yeah. On this side we go like kind of just in front of it. But on this one, on the corner here especially, we're just going to go in line with it. So that actually kind of on it. I am going to go double check this though and I'll be right back. So no, I was right in the first instance. We're going to actually go ahead and build one slab just here instead. I thought it was two because it looks a bit like an optical illusion. And then we're going to build an upside down stair just here. So as you can see, that's where I thought it was two because we kind of have more space back here and then when we add in some blocks, it made it look a bit more like two. Then we'll do a slab here, upside down stair just here. And then we're going to go a wrong, a wrong? Uh, <laughs> along just here so we'll do a slab a step again and we want to have ourselves two more of these steps which we have now and then we're going to start to build upwards now this gets very awkward very quickly so definitely stay tuned and be on the lookout for certain changes in certain areas so over on this side I'm going to go ahead and stick myself another sort of slab just here and now I'm going to do one upside down going that way no going normally but then going that way back inwards again so similar to what we did here where we have like the sort of slightest part of the stair showing that is what we want here oh my goodness me <laughs> I just remembered the stress from this <laughs> it's so much hard work but no that's looking okay so far so then we'll stick a stair above the sort of twisted stair below and then we'll do an upside down stair behind that one and then we'll stair above it again and then we'll do another upside down stair just up here. And this final one kind of will be on a slab layer. So we'll just stick a slab on top of it. And then I'll kind of bring it along in a minute. Um, what I should mention though is we go down next to this weird looking stair just here. And we want to continue the slabs along for nine. So we start underneath this upside down stair. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we do the opposite. So we do exactly the same as here. On the opposite side, oh pain. Let's stick a temporary block here, an upside down stair here, twist the upside down stair around the front so it connects to the slab. Then we'll do a slab just here, stair, slab, stair, so you're now on the corner, slab on the corner, stair so it goes past the door right, remember? And then we're going to build ourselves just around here, slab, stair, slab, oops, slab, stair slab and then a stair connects to the pillar so the similar thing to as we did at the start so it starts with the stair view good stuff now we'll just backtrack here so we'll go to the wonky stair place in a stair upside down stair to the right of it normal stair upside down and at the top here of course your slab then we'll connect the slabs in the middle and there we have it we have the archway looking very grand now if we double check this on camera together just to make sure We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slabs at the top here. If we run across the other one, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same because we have a three block window below, which means we have an odd number to fill in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bang on. Whew, okay, that is a relief. <laughs> oh, blimey, that was hard work. Awesome. And you look at that, that is starting to look like a Creole house. Good stuff, guys. So whilst we still have these porch materials for the trim around the top there, we can actually go ahead and build the inner trim so that it all looks clean and tidy. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go to the arch in the doorway over here. Firstly, we'll stick a block behind this stair upside down. 
and then I'll just conclude that area there so nothing too fancy or drastic goes on just there and you can also put two slabs at the top there. Brilliant. Now we come onto the interior and what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way from this block here running stairs right the way on the inside Whoops. <laughs> up to just there next to the door right and what we're going to do here is stick blocks above the door right all the way around up to that stair just there then we'll stick stairs in front of them so they're going to be on the inner side of the porch and that will connect to that one just there bear in mind all the stairs up here will be covered up with some of that roof tiling um, but for now because we're not doing the roof just yet we're going to make sure everything looks tidy instead underneath it stick blocks around here like that and then of course do your steps again from that step there around here and to that step just there now you're probably wondering do we put steps across here we're not actually going to do that at all we're going to keep it all nice and uh, kind of smart around this area making it look okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to this side over here and we'll do our blocks from the wall over to behind that step and then we'll just continue the steps around to the blue terracotta over there like so so everything here is still nice and trim for the slab layer you can actually double back the slabs for two because we kind of double up the structure for two as well so you can also build up the stairs in the silhouette here on both sides of the whole thing like this and then your slabs across the top and voila brilliant now what we're going to do before we continue is we're going to go ahead and start to work on the lower level in this episode and then what we'll do is we'll do like a part two we'll work on the second part three the top and then the scenery as well so we'll kind of do like a level at a time and because this porch area took a long time to do we've kind of got enough time to do the surroundings and then we can work on the rest later perfect let's get some new materials so then to crack on with the final section and get in this first floor done we'll take some blue terracotta some smooth quartz blocks some smooth quartz slabs some light grey stained glass some smooth quartz stairs some grey stained glass panes as well as some white stained glass panes some stripped spruce wood and some spruce wood slabs you can probably just hear <laughs> just then but I hope you got all the materials down Firstly, we want to build this pillar up to the same height as that one. So using your quartz, just go ahead and build upwards to a rough sort of dimension, but I'll try and get it to be the same as that one if you can. Then we'll go ahead and take our quartz here. Uh, actually, firstly, we'll take four blue terracottas, one, two, three, four, then four quartz, and then three more blues this side. We'll build these once again to the same height as the other windows across there. So five blocks upwards, two three four five two three four five we might need to add on to these afterwards that's fine then we'll take four glass and four again and then two more quarters at the top same windows as the front upside down stairs here normal with the backs to the upside down ones upside down underneath the normal ones slabs on top of the upside down ones and then we fill the entire thing in with blue terracotta around it and actually that can be in line between both the pillars because we don't actually add any other windows in here so we can fill it up nicely and kind of have everything closed up and secure on this side which was really helpful for the builder because that saves us a nice job there we go perfect the next thing to do is to start a little layer with slabs uh, for the roof that goes on this overhanging part so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go up to the ninth block which we only have here anyways so we have 10 across here. The ninth block will be this one, just here. And we're gonna go around the corner just to this one and start to build a slab uh, two blocks behind it, so just there. So like so, just the block behind that pillar there, we stick a slab and that will go along this way. Oops, sorry about that. All the way to across at the back here. So you can actually for now put it in line with the wall below. Perfect. Then we'll get onto this overhanging part over here. And we want to build ourselves up this end pillar up for six from the floor. So two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll start with our glass and we'll go ahead and build ourselves our glass on top of this blue. We want to alternate between our grey and our white just here. We're going to start with some, I think we might start with some white, but I can't see because there's a bush in the way. 
I have a photo on my phone here trying to represent it. But yep, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's white. I couldn't see because there's a bush. Ah, oh, nightmare. Let's go ahead and go back to this one. And we'll build these the three blocks upwards. So one, two, three. Then we'll do our grey. Could get awkward because the class panes like to be awkward. But hopefully we got this. And we'll just do this the entire way across the blue until we reach the quartz once again. So just up to here with some white again. The quartz will go up to the glass and then it will just stop at the one above the glass and then it will go back over for an archway across the door frame. We can then stick ourselves two white stained glass panes in here and then two stripped woods in there like so for the spruce. Then we'll do ourselves some blue terracotta across the windows to finalise that area. Across here we're going to do the same so we'll start with ourselves some white. One, two and three. Then grey. Then white again. Then grey. And the reason we do this with the grey kind of separating the white stained glass is because we actually make it look like the real windows and the shutters on the windows. Which is kind of cool. Then on this one we want to build up again to the same height as the other side to so the sixth one. But of course we don't start from the ground up, we only start from the one up there. Actually I'm going to change that to the ground up. That looks a lot cleaner. And then we'll build our blue terracotta across the windows like so. Perfect. That's looking all good guys. Good job. If you want to take your spruce slabs now and build yourself one, two, three, four, just here for that step, feel free to do that. Now we want to go back around this side, so on the back of it. This gets a little bit tricky because you need to build these pillars on both ends up to 20 blocks in height. Two, three, four, oops. <laughs> so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 19, 20. And then once you have 20 on the other side, you can sort of run them across to make a big square in the sky. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then we just run this across, making sure we have both pillars at 20. There we go. And now we have the frame for the back of the house. And of course, there's no windows on the back of the house. So if you want to fill this all in now with some blue terracotta, that will save you a job when you work on the second floor. So go for it. Let's get it done. So there we are. It looks like we've built a giant TV screen on the back here, like a cinema screen. Maybe just play some Stranger Things. That'd be cool. So let's go down here, excuse me, um, that was my nose by the way, <laughs> let's go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that goes up the wall there and that is going to be for the roof on this overhanging section, that's the reason we build these slabs as well, <clears throat> as well, voice break, let's go, <laughs> let's go a block down from that 9, so we have 8, and then you guessed it, 7, and actually on the 7th one we can add in a block um, just below the sort of quartz here. So that will need to be kind of, it's a bit difficult because we have to get it sort of in line. So for this one over here, I'm going to kind of move it up another one. So you have this here, that's fine. Yep, that's all good. Just double check it. Okay, so what I might have to do here is I've got my ninth one and I've got my eighth. And then I'm going to build this one out just here. That one along to there. And then yeah, that should be okay. Okay, so now we have this one just over here hanging out on the third one long. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on eight is where you place the quartz. We'll now build this one down so the slab is going to be literally here. So we need to go backtracking and build the slab all the way along this way. Now I know that's a little bit awkward because obviously it turns some of the blocks into, sorry, some of the slabs into blocks, but you just need to run this back along to there like so, so it's diagonally. And that when you look at it, it will be this one below and the below of this layer. So just there. Perfect. That is all good now. It is difficult to line it up without having this block in place. So I should have done that first. That is my bad. But uh, now we've got it in there, it won't be a problem for the next step. Now we'll go ahead and build this one up. Once again, going down a layer. And then once again here, going down another layer, like so. So you sort of have that quartz in amongst the second sort of tier. Um, but it's on its own pillar as well. Bit difficult to remember, but we got it there in the end. Good stuff. Okay, the next thing to do is to go around to this left side, and we're going to go ahead and build ourselves this one just up for like a rounded number at the moment. Let's just go up to there. 
then we'll build two lots of those windows over there. And by the way, I forgot to mention, but you can put yourself a little window ledge on these, just like so, right? And then two slabs on the top of the bottom block, if that makes sense. You don't do that on the front porch ones because, of course, these are right next to the uh, the porch, and so there's not really much place to walk. But you can if you want to. They do actually add a little bit more detail, so feel free to do that if you want. Okay, so let's go around here. We're building ourselves one, two, three, four, five, two, five again. Then we'll go ahead and place our windows. Then we'll place two blocks. Upside down quartz steps. Quartz steps with the backs to the upside down ones. Slabs on top of the upside down ones. And then we'll come down here for slabs as well. Then we'll leave a block gap with some blue terracotta. Make sure to surround the windows. Perfect. I'm gonna go up to that height as well. Actually no, I'll leave it there. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Then we'll do another window here like this, oops, over to this one, then we'll do our grey, we'll do ourselves two more blocks, upside down stairs, stairs back next to the upside down ones, slabs, slabs at the bottom, and then blue around the window. And then down here we're going to leave a gap of three before our next window, so similar to what we did on the front. Which is pretty cool, we just kind of mimic what we did on the front all the way around really. <laughs> Which is a bit lazy but also very very helpful for us. So then we'll do ourselves 1, 2, 3, 4 for our window. Making sure the N1s go up to 5, so 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we'll do our glass. Two more blocks up here. Upside down stairs. Stairs backing onto the upside down ones. Slabs on them. Slabs down here. And then you do the blue all the way around the window and down here too. Perfect. And then we'll just take ourselves this quartz pillar, building it up to that one there. And voila, we have another wall complete. Now we'll go around to these four and we'll build these up again to the quartz. So there's no windows on this one. You can add one if you want to, but um, I haven't at the moment just until we've done the interior. It's like that. And then the same goes for this kind of small wall on the side. There's no windows on it, so we just build this one up. And this is actually the case for the real one as well. There's no windows on this side because we do see it in one of the scenes where the moving truck is kind of here. So that is all good. There is a window on the front side though, and this one is a bit tricky. So what we need to do for this one is we're going to go ahead and build the end two pillars upwards to the same height as, well, the prior ones. So this one can go up to there, and this one can go up to the same height actually. And then we'll just backtrack to build everything the same height as that. Like this. And this will save us a job when we get onto the uh, the upstairs as well. Good stuff. And then down here, what we need to do gets a bit awkward, so just stay tuned. We're going to need to place ourselves two blocks. Then we'll do a slab in the center. A slab here and here. A stair here and here, normal stairs. Then we'll do ourselves four blocks. Then we'll do ourselves an upside down stair here and on this side, so like this. Then we'll do ourselves a, a normal stair on top of both of these, then blocks. Then we'll do a slab here and then a slab there. And then what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and place a slab here and here. Oh, sorry, not there. Uh, and then one above the stair. So we have this shape here. And then we leave the two blocks behind empty for our blue to kind of fill in there, like so. Hopefully that is not too difficult. If you need a recap, definitely go and skip back just to check. But remember these are slabs at the bottom, then we have stairs on the bottom for two. Up the top on the final stair we have, sorry, final glass we have two stairs, upside down. Stairs above them, two blocks above the glass, a slab block made in here, slabs above each of the stairs and voila, you finished up your first floor in your Creole house. Great work guys, that is brilliant. One final thing we can do in today's episode is if you want to take yourself some, maybe some spruce or some dark oak wood. Uh, let me see what I did on the original one, I think it was some dark oak. Yeah, dark oak in there. You can also take yourself some of these new materials, which is just some of these awesome uh, verdant frog lights, and you can stick them below each of the windows. 
and we'll do that for all of the windows in the crew house eventually. So for now, take yourself some of this frog light, take yourself some dark oak wood planks, and let's go ahead and fill in the entire interior in here, and then put some frog lights just below the windows. So let me see, show you what I mean. So the floor will go just up to where the door is, and the frog lights will go just there, the block below the window. So yeah, let's, um, sorry, let's build this entire thing in, and then we'll call it a day. Before I forget, if you want to go ahead and just outline this area here, so you know this is kind of the outhouse area, the part that we're not going to use today, just go from quartz to quartz, and that's where you know that's not going to be the same as the rest of the build here. There we go. Now we can continue with the floor up to this height for everything but this layer here. Let's go for it. Well then guys, there we have it. That is how to build the Creole House part number one in Minecraft. Thank you so much for joining me on this massive tutorial. This is probably my biggest building tutorial since probably the Starcourt Mall. So um, yeah, this has been mad. Um, building, I mean, like house or something. Uh, not not people. I've definitely built bigger people. But um, no, this is massive. It's like a huge dollhouse really. Um, and I know it's very confusing. So thank you so much for staying to the very end you've done an amazing job today guys and you should be proud of yourselves we're going to be doing a part two coming soon where we'll be building the upstairs as well as finishing off some details around here but nothing too major um and uh yeah and then we'll get onto a part three where we'll be building the roof as well and kind of finalizing the entire thing so it's going to be a three-part mini series to get the entire creole house done so um, i never know that at the start i never know how long it's going to take but when i start building and i see the progress so far um, I sort of realised, ah, it's not going to just be done in one episode, <laughs> um, because it is massive and it takes forever. But um, it will be worth it in the end, I promise you, and you can have yourselves your own Creole House from Stranger Things Season 4, built in Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to drop a like, guys. If you know anyone who is a Stranger Things fan, if uh, you know anyone who plays Minecraft and loves Stranger Things, they will definitely, well, hopefully, enjoy some of my content. So please send them my way. That'd be awesome. If you're interested in staying tuned yourself for the next few parts coming soon, as well as some more Stranger Things 4 tutorials, please consider joining the Assassin Hood today for free by subscribing. Wicked. And finally, I am on social media if you guys are too. So all of my links are in the description, and you can kind of get some updates and some behind-the-scenes looks at stuff over on uh, my Instagram and Twitter and other places too, so be sure to check out the description. Until the next time guys, stay safe, don't get eaten by Vecna, and uh, yeah, just have a great time. Well, not eaten, but you know what I mean, like, dismantled and destroyed and just yuck. <laughs> Take care guys, goodbye for now.